Um, Fire Fire, which was uh, our first single off uh, our album Filthy Empire. Okay, and what's, uh, what's that about? Um, that's a song that's kind of just about wanting to get out into the world and see what it's about and make, make something happen, ignite a fire as it was. Yeah, take a chance on something. I mean, it, it's cool to do acoustic stuff and things like this because we don't like to take ourselves too seriously when we do acoustic things <laughs> and get some candles out and some wine and talk about our feelings. It's cool to come in a room full of stuffed animals and play some fast songs that <laughs> make it look like we're really frustrated to sit down. <laughs> uh, how did you come as well to, to form the band? Because I know that over the years, you, sort of my members have come and gone. Is that correct? And, and uh, you know, how have you come to be this lineup? Just well, meeting each other on the, the live circuit and things, really. Like, it was, I'll, I'll let Sid begin because it was Chris and Sid that are, are the. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's like, it's just a, a, a natural path, really, of um, coincidence, chance meetings, and slowly finding the people that 
were as committed as everyone else. Mm. And the that's quite hard to come by. And so we, we ended up scouring the whole country. We were all four of us are from like the different corners of the country. Right. And so it you know, it took us time to meet because we were never naturally gonna fall into each other's laps. We had to go sure. out and look. So. Anyone who'd find the perfect lineup. Yeah, exactly. Suppose. Yeah, just be like minded people that wanna do the same kind of music as you that are made of the right stuff and yeah, I mean, that's a lot harder to in our small little island mm. we've always I mean there's never been a question in any of our lives that what we were going to do it's always been like this is what mm. I'm going to do in my life so it just you know has led us down the path to find each other that way and, and Aaron your singer he was the last guy to yeah. join the band is that correct and uh, you wanted to put him through a little test to make sure he wasn't mental yeah <laughs> is that right what was the test well basically we we all live together and we always right. have done since this band began that's how it had to be to, to give everything you've got to it yeah. so we we auditioned him yeah he can sing but that's just one piece of the puzzle we got him down we, we live at SIDS and things so we got him down there he lived with us breathed with us uh, we wrote some songs we did some secret gigs but more importantly we like wanted to see what made him tick and stuff and yeah. got him a bit hammered made him go on some nights out and he ended up passing out on Sid's shoulder getting thrown out and not being allowed back in so we thought yeah he's He's already right something. <laughs> and when you all moved, when you lived together for this uh, six months or so, is that when you wrote the album? Is that how it all um, sort of started? Bits and pieces, really. The album's kind of like a timestamp on where we are up till now. Mm. Like we just went into the studio with a frame of mind of making the best album we could. So there's some older songs on it that were before my time and things, but it just needed to sum up to the world who we are in, in twelve songs. And I don't think yeah, we changed I mean, anything about it. You know what's what's interesting is a lot of the stuff we wrote like in the studio within like a oh, couple of weeks as we tracked it so there really is a wide spectrum of stuff like right. there's riffs that from when I was like 13 years old in the album and there's also songs from like the a, day before a, a, the, the day recorded. before we recorded the album so oh wow so, you know. and you recorded the album in LA yeah yeah. Uh, and tell us about the producer you worked with because uh, Feldman he's with Mr. Some, uh, Feldman Mr. Feldman he's worked with some some pretty he's awesome a fantastic bands strange creature he's, no, he's amazing like um, the vibe and energy in the studio and the people he brought in the engineers and stuff it was so cool it was our first time doing an album and it was such a great atmosphere to be in and things mm. he's, a, he's a frantic geezer that loves his sugar but yeah. he's uh, no he's great because he, he actually loves his sugar we, when it? we met him he was, he, he was off the sugar for a little bit right. and then we went on a sugar bender weekend and we yeah, had all kinds of it. stuff it was crazy yeah. <laughs> wow that is uh, <laughs> no, drugs and rock and roll isn't it like, well, right I, think, I, think, I think when you get to a certain Sherbet part dips. when you get to a certain part in your life you have to, your, your vice is changed and, yeah. <laughs> and I think he's been there and done that he's yeah, yeah. definitely been there and done it so he's filled his void with sugar hits and what's the plans for the rest of the year we've got festivals coming up yeah we've got some really exciting things we're going we're just about to go to America and Canada for some things coming back and doing Europe with Black Veil Brides which should be really cool and then it's American festivals and European festivals. So, looking, there's so many like exciting shows that we've festivals yeah. we've never done before, places we've never been, and Plus it's, like, it's cool to get out. We're there. getting to do like the UK main UK festival is for us is Downloads, yeah, at, um, Donington, and it's really cool because we've we've been bumped up again a slot, so we're like um, oh, really on the, like good. somewhere on the second stage now on Saturday. That's, like, that's got to be a good thing, yeah, right? Epic, because yeah. that's like I'm from kind of around that area anyway, so I've, I've been going to that festival since I was a kid. So. Yeah. Like a real to be playing that stage, you get nervous as well before the sort of big shows like that. No, it'll be, it'll but, be pretty exciting. No, <laughs> but it's different. Like, because we played Download for the first time electrically last year on the third stage, and there was definitely a buzz because we'd just flown back from recording the album, right? And then we're like, we played this gig, and we were so like, I think it's a testament to how proud we are of the album. We mm. opened the set of download oh. with a song that with a song that opens the album and we'd never really played it before and nobody knew what it was and we were just like right yeah this starts now I suppose when it's fresh in your head yeah you go yeah, think, let's cool. play something that maybe some people will know yeah, or that we're, we're confident as at least and then go sod it we're gonna yeah, be let's play a new one we're gonna play what we want yeah. yeah we just faced each other the whole time <laughs> yeah. nice yeah turned your back on the crowd that's the best way to do it just applauding each other after we finished got through it well done excellent oh listen guys thank you so much for joining us that's a good pleasure man it's got to be time for the confession now. We just uh, had some time off and I went back home because I live up north. I went to my friend's house. I haven't seen them for a little, for about half a year and things. And he's got this swanky new flat and stuff now. And we ended up, everyone kind of came around there. We started drinking and stuff. Then we went out, got kicked out of everywhere. I came back and I was kind of sick in his swanky new apartment, but kind of didn't tell him and just hit it and then left the morning after. So I'm so sorry about that, mate. <laughs>